Okay, so let's get moving on the schedule. Um, we've created this area, a very thin area to get linear calculations. It's a half inch on either side of the linear. Um, if you need to move it to one side or the other, it'll probably still work, but just double check your calcs. Um, I also changed this from the area tag with area to the uh, tag with that only shows the name. We can talk about maybe getting a linear uh, shared parameter maybe as a bonus video or something but let's get started so I'm going to go to my area schedule and so now we have everything calculating out that has areas but the linear is not working so the first thing we want to do is get the linear foot so I'm going to go to my fields and I'm going to create a calculated value and I'll call it um, linear feet and that is going to be the area divided by one square foot um, times 12. So that's going to give you the linear feet. So if I click OK there and click OK, you're going to see it start reading out the linear feet. And so uh, if I come in and look at my area plan again and pick, I have a line here in the middle, and pick that line, it's 34 32 foot 4 and 113 to 128s and that's what's reading out here. You can do the math if you want to but um, it should work out pretty closely. And then I'm just going to go to my fields and create another calculated value that's going to give me the linear inches. Linear inches. And again I'm going to space all these out um, just so we can see what's happening. Obviously you could combine these um, into one large formula later or do the feet in inches or areas or however you want. And so now I'm getting my inches. Now I need my load factor for the linear count. So I'm just going to create a new parameter and this is going to be a number and I'll name it um, linear load factor and click OK click OK. And the load factor for the bar is 18 inches and the load factor for the booze is 24. Oh, also um, there are multiple booze, right? So if you look there are multiple booze. If you go and look at the hidden, I've made a separate one, a separate area for each booth, but I've named it the same name, right? So so if you need, um, you know, if you have separate pieces that you want to uh, calculate all the same, then go ahead and give them the same name. Um, and then you can go ahead and turn that off, go back to my schedule. And then you can just go to sorting and grouping and remove itemize every instance, right? Because uh, if you sort by name, so I'm going to click OK and you can see it has every single one of those in there but I've just removed the um, sorting and grouping itemize every instance and so it collapses it into one. So go ahead and do that and so now I've got my um, linear load factor so now I need to get my linear load so I'm going to go to my fields um, create a new calculated value and we'll name this linear load and we will um, take the linear inches and divide that by um, the linear load factor and click OK and click OK and so now we're getting our linear load. Don't round this um, yet because there's a rounding factor that's going into our load and we want to get a we would like to get this guy over to here to add up. And so what we're going to do is we're going to create a multiplier using the area and then the linear load. And then we're going to push that multiplier into this um, load factor. And then that's going to give us the load. So um, if I go ahead and go to my fields, I can edit that and create another calculated value and I'll call this um, linear area multiplier, right? And that is going to be the area divided by one square foot 
right? And that is going to be, let's go ahead and put that in parentheses, just clean it up. And whoops. And then we're going to divide that by the linear load. Okay, and we're going to click OK and click OK. Right, and that's going to give us this linear area multiplier, and then we can take that and push it into the load factor for the area. So if I do 0.125 here and then come in to the booth and do 0.11234.7, right, then it's going to give us the um, the load for that. So now we're actually getting an accurate load with a linear um, calculation in there. Um, we got a lot of extra stuff going on. You could consolidate quite a bit of this down, right, to one you know, column, but I thought it would be helpful to be able to see it all at once. Um, and then um, if you want to have one that's open, you can always, uh, and you can read and mess with it, you can always duplicate this and then I'll just name this hidden, even though you probably, you know, this is a very long name. You probably wouldn't name it, but this, but just for the sake of being able. And you can come in now and you can just start to hide these things. So um, I'll hide this guy. Right, there's our load. Um, the area I'll hide, right? I'm going to hide this and just use the ratio. So I'll hide that, right? And then I can just hide all these other ones, right? And now we've got our load running through here. Um, if you want to get rid of the bathrooms, you know, you can just filter that out by name or something like that. Um, but um, you could also divide by level. Um, anyway, um, hopefully that's helpful and makes sense.